Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Absolute bloodbath in the market yesterday, but we were far off the uh, for the market lows. Like the Dow went to 15.846 on slow down fears. Real weak data coming out of the US. You had retail sales, PPI are both down. And we've actually got US jobless claims in the Philly Fed index later on today as well. And crude oil inventories for those of you that are interested in that market, which is now trading quite close to $80 as we speak. So there's been a bit of a rebound this morning, but we're approaching potential short term resistance at 61 78. So on the back of yesterday's uh, sell-off, we can now kind of redraw the, uh, the playing field, so to speak, uh, and there are a number of core levels that you probably want to be aware of. So we did break below 59.82, so we're breaking below the psychological 16,000 level, um, but then we, we closed a little bit higher today. I'd be very interested to see if we are, if this 61.78 acts as a cap, which will end up putting pressure on the US 30. After all, nothing has really changed since yesterday, perhaps slightly overdone. US jobless claims and Philly Fed uh, index could be a catalyst. Jobless claims would probably be okay. Philly Fed will be the, the, the kind of the figure to watch today. Not not normally something that I go ahead and look at too much, but we are talking about market sentiment right now. So um, that's due later on in the afternoon. So expect 15982 to be the next potential support if we do have a, a move to the downside. And we're still not in fully oversold territory on the slow stochastic or the RSI. So from the technicals, we still have further room to move lower if we want to. So UK 100 uh, bouncing above potential support, uh, sorry, potential resistance slash support, 62.16. Next potential resistance would be 63.90. I don't think we're going to get there anytime soon. If you look at this level right here, uh, which was the low from Monday the 13th, that looks to be 62.70. Could be the short term potential resistance. Broken support now acting as resistance. This could be the catalyst. And the UK market has just opened. Um, so, again, technical indicators well, RSI not quite actually fully oversold. Slow stochastic, yes. Uh, MACD not yet providing a crossover for any buying interest. So, keep, by, keep an eye on the shorter time frames, but certainly 62.70 could be an interesting level to look at today. <laughs> Japanese market won't be feeling the love after the moves we saw in dollar yen. Uh, so volatile. Uh, we had a, a massive move to the downside of dollar yen, shot right back up again and moved right back down again. So, as that yen, uh, so you've got uncertainty in the market, that's hurting Japan 225. Yen uh, buying on safe haven, um, safe haven interest, also going to be hurting Japan 225. So, we're below 14.977, which is the potential uh, support now acting as resistance. Next potential support, 14.219. Moving on to that dollar yen move, savage move yesterday. We actually um, broke below the 55 period SMA, looked to be acting as short term support. You can even see today's candle. We're off today's highs. Pressure remains. Look at 104 spot 75 as the next potential support. MACD about to cross the zero line, and the RSI and slow stochastic show there is further room for movement to the downside. So just be very careful of the volatility. So looking at crude oil West Texas again, uh, looking at this level, we almost we got to 80 spot 20 yesterday. The psychological level is obviously $80, but the real potential support is at 77 spot 40. Technicals are massively oversold, but yet no signals to sell. It's not yet crossed over the 30% level of the RSI or the 20% level of the slow stochastic. Uh, we do have obviously crude oil inventories due today at four o'clock, came in slightly later. It says net change. Uh, as you can see, I've already got my reoccurring alert set there. This is going to be interesting um, to look at. So moving on to euro dollar, euro dollar had a massive spike yesterday. Basically, the US are not going to be raising rates anytime soon while these figures are coming out in negative values. And we actually had some horrible data yesterday, uh, PPI and also the retail sales. So the Treasury bond yields are now pricing in a rate hike in 2016 rather than in 2015. So you're seeing a massive unraveling of the US dollar long positions right now. But to be fair, Euro's not really looking that strong. Uh, and GBP, not really that special either. Uh, and I guess dollar yen will be where a lot of traders will be looking if we see continued uncertainty, continued volatility because of the safe haven aspect of the yen versus the USD. Uh, and obviously we've come off the session highs there. Look for potential support, one spot 2746. We're in the middle two ranges right now. Uh, but the pressure will be on your dollar after this extended move to the downside to start to tick back up. So one spot there, E00, could be the next potential resistance uh, to be aware of, depending if you're bullish or bearish on your dollar. So finishing up with GBP USD, um, yeah, trend still firmly intact there. Sterling's not really wrestling control from the USD here, but there is going to be a little bit of uh, potential weakness in the US dollar for as long as the fundamentals come in weak. So jobless claims today, if they disappoint, Philly Fed disappoints, expect 
uh, the dollar to take a bit of a bath and reverse course ever so yeah. slightly. Um, but sterling dollar yeah. isn't that strong. If these figures come in really, really strong, which would be very, very surprising, uh, I guess looking at the chart here, sterling dollar could be uh, one that could benefit from uh, downwards momentum right there. So uh, sterling not really looking that strong against the US dollar right now. So market calendar wise, we do have jobless claims today at 130. Make sure you've got your yeah. recurring alert there. We do have Eurozone uh, CPI data, um, which obviously has a slight effect on your dollar and the DAX. And the DAX has had a really bad last couple of days, to be fair. It's rebounded a little bit this morning. You can see the indices here. The UK market is almost up a percent, but it's making up lost ground. Uh, we are actually at the highs of the day across most indices as well so um, people will be waiting for the start of the US market take a cue from that and obviously waiting for the jobless claims and the Philly Fed data due later on today keep your eye on the chart form as ever make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next